All right. So again, good afternoon. For today's lesson, we are going to start with one of the free web page designing software, which you can download online. This is an open source web designing software, which we call as Blue Griffon. Okay. So I'd like to welcome those who are from section eight. And of course, my dear students from section number 10. So our, our Blue Griffon, as we have already installed last time, was just downloaded freely. Okay. So it's an open source. You don't need to pay for it. So what is the use of Blue Griffon? Blue Griffon is actually used for you to create your website. So if you would like to create a website, design, design a website, one way to create a website is through this Blue Griffon. Just download the, the installer online and then install it in your computer. After that, you can already create your own website. It is a visual web editor, meaning to say what you see is what you get, like in Microsoft Word. If I'm going to have type something, I want to make it italic, I will just click on the icon I. I want to make bold, I will just click on the icon that has letter B and so on. So what you see is what you get makes it easy for you to create your own website. It's a web editor that can be used by any one of you. Even if you're not IT expert, you can be able to create or design your own website using this software, which is called as Blue Griffon. Okay. So as we have already. Okay, it's not coming. Okay. As we have already installed, uh, downloaded and installed, the program will have this particular environment, which I have just a screenshot for you to be able to see. There's actually a file menu here, which I will, I'm going to show you later. So you will have the normal file edit view and you also have the shortcut icons here, which you can easily use. These are the commonly used icons or toolbars, which are available for whoever would like to design a website. There's also an editing um, icon or panel here, which you can make your text bold, italic, underline, and so on and so forth. There are many formatting tools which will be available on your Blue Griffon designing software. Okay, now let's move on. I have given here a few tutorials if you would like to see. Once I click this one, you can be able to see some of the tutorials available online. So you can take a screenshot of this one or let me take a screenshot for you to just refer to it just in case. Just in case you cannot be able to follow my discussion, you can always visit and go to these tutorials. This tutorial will help you create your own website. Even if I am not there, if you would like to, create other other website even without me you can always go to this tutorials online so that's for our introduction of the blue griffon let's start and see all right so where is our blue griffon icon our blue griffon shortcut is already in my desktop so i hope you can be able to see my blue griffon shortcut Okay, it's just taking time. Okay, if you are to run this Blue Griffon program, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, yes. yes. I cannot see. Hold on, let me join again because I am checking it in my laptop if I can be able to see or not. I cannot be able to see. Okay. Hold on. Uh, let me just join again. Okay. Again, when you open this software, just double click that. Now I can be able to see already. Okay. You have the blue Griffon shortcut from your desktop. Just run it. It may take time like this one. Okay, there you have 
your working environment for your blue gray font. I can make it big for you to be able to see it properly. Okay, now our blue gray font will be similar to other software, Microsoft software, Windows based software. What you see is what you get. I have here B, it means it's bold. I have here I, it means I will do italic. I want to make my text in center, it can be in center. Okay, now we don't have anything which we have done yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start a new website. So again, what is this blue griffon used for? This is used for you to be able to design your own website. So I have here some file menu, which you can open your file if there are recent uh, website which you have already created you can have this one let me just make that bigger so I have my file menu which will have several uh, options you, which you can just explore later on you have the edit edit bar which will have the commonly editing tool like cut copy paste delete and so on select tool is there you can uh, show or hide your toolbars there are also other things here, which later on you can just explore what they are used for. OK, so in the meantime, since we do not have anything yet, let's just go for the basic. So for us to be able to insert something, you can have your insert commands or buttons here. You want to insert a new table, you can click this one. You want to insert an image, you click this one. You want anchor, you want to insert video, audio, and so on. All of these shortcut icons are also available. Okay, now let's start our new website. You, you do at the same time with me, please. Go to file and then create, sorry. Okay, again, file, create new. Again, what I did was I go to file, and then I create new. Okay. Okay. I'd like you to type welcome. So everyone, please. I'd like you to type a text that says welcome to. Just keep it caps lock. Just put welcome to my web. OK. So I think everyone can see. Let me just make it a bit bigger for the others can see. I just made it bigger huh, by putting the percentage here. OK, so if it's just 100 percent, this is the normal view. If I would like to have it with a bigger view so that you can all see, you can just click here and make the view bigger. So let's go for 150. So I have written here, welcome to my website. OK, this is a text which you have inserted. Now, initially, this is just considered to be a paragraph. But in fact, you can have it as an heading. If you keep it as heading, heading will be a bit bigger. You can try the other heading. You click on heading two, it's a bit smaller. You can try heading three, it's also smaller. Heading four, heading five, heading six, see, the heading are becoming smaller as the heading number becomes bigger, okay? So what's the biggest heading which you can choose? If you want the biggest heading label, you can use heading one. So heading one, heading one is as big as this one, okay? Will you try that please? Choose this welcome to my website and then click here and go to heading one. A while ago, it is given as just paragraph. No, if it's just as simple as paragraph, you will have a small something like this one. OK, or if you want to make it bigger so that it becomes visible for you and for your user, of course, for those who are going to visit your website, then you can you choose heading two. Okay, so that's Which one. one choose no. Heading one, up to heading you. One. Yes, you want heading two, no problem. 
for me, I'm gonna choose heading one because this is going to be my first heading. Okay. okay. Now, similar to Microsoft Word, you can also make your text formatted. If you would like to emphasize that, you see, an emphasis means it's italic. Okay. If you want to emphasize and strongly emphasize, it's italic and it's in bold. Okay. Now, if you don't want to use this, you can also click on this one. If you want it bold, but it's not changing because it's already in heading. But uh, try this one. It's in italic. Okay. And then if you want it underlined, you can put underline also. So it's just same as what you have learned from your Microsoft Word. No? Italic, bold, and underline. Okay. Any, any uh, format which you want, it's possible. Okay. You can make it also uh, with uh, ordered list or bulleted like this one. Bullet or numbered list. Or I don't want that. I don't need that. Let's just delete that. I don't want it bulleted. I don't want it with number also. Or I don't want it with list or I don't want it with bullets. Okay. You can also have it centered. Like let's say I want this to be in the center of my web page. I'll click this one. So I am now in center. Or maybe you would like it right justified. Click this right justified. Okay. Center. Left justify. Right justify. Okay. Or justify. Or let's keep it in the center. Okay, so you can just explore any of these formatting toolbars if you want. If you have some more time, you can explore all these uh, editing toolbars. Okay, now let's put a color for this particular uh, text here that will welcome all your users. So if I'm going to click on this one, so I will have my uh, but a color, the color of my text, let's say the color of your text can be, okay, keep it as light blue. Please keep it as light blue. Or you choose any color which you want. Please choose any color which you want. Okay, there I have. So I have here my text color. My text color is just light pink. Okay, now I want it to be visible for my user. So I can put a background color. Let's put a background color. Let me have a strong color this time. So it should be contrast. Huh? Okay, see? My background color is darker and my uh, text color is lighter. Okay, so I have now my heading that says, Welcome to my website. Okay, so please change the background and the foreground color. Foreground is the text color. Background is this color. Maroon for me. Oh, and how to do? Choose the text. Choose the text. And then click this color here. This here. Back. RGB. And then this one. Background, foreground. Try contact, uh, uh, use color which are co in contrast. One light and one dark. All right, clear? Okay, now after you have tried all of these formatting toolbars which will allow you to format your text, including putting a color and background color of your title or your heading that will welcome the visitors of your website, you can press Enter key. Come here, okay? Go to the end of the, of the text. I am here. The cursor is here on the end. Press enter key. So your cursor now is with paragraph. Now see, I am now here. So I have now a paragraph. I can also make it as body as you want. Okay, but it's miss, not. Miss again. Come here, press enter. Go to the end of your uh, text. And then enter. So you are now on the next part. Okay. So we have already one example that inserts a text and formatted the text. You can explore text formatting here. Huh? Okay. Even if I don't teach you the others, you can try. There's no harm in practicing and trying on your own. Please practice 
and try on your own. Okay, done. Miss, uh, again, first, uh, if I need the uh, next uh, part. Next, next part. Uh, come here, enter. Press enter only. Mm -hmm. Please press enter. Finish? You have already the second line? Yep. Okay. Wait, uh, I will just give announcement for the other section because they are uh, not yet here. Okay, now let's try to insert something. Okay, we can insert something using this a uh, toolbar here, toolbar icons here. I have here insert table, insert image, insert anchor, and so on. Okay. Now, what I want to do is to just insert from the menu bar. So click on insert, and these are the things you can insert. Now, what I want to do is to just insert an image. That's why I told you to insert or to have an image or a picture. Okay. Again, I am already here. I'd like to insert an image. So are you here? Again, what you do is insert image. Okay, after you click insert image, you should be on this dialog box. Are you here? Are you here in this dialog box? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. 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 Now, I want yes. you to choose yes. I want you to choose the image which you have kept in your folder. You have your image, no? Images in your folder, okay? You can keep or choose any image which you want. I want this image for me. You can choose any of your image. Take the one which is like um, uh, vertical, like this one. Not the picture of a person. Don't put these pictures yet, okay? So just double click that, choose that one. So you have already here the file, no? Okay, so again, what I did was, let me delete that, that. I click this, select image, select image, but then choose the image. You can click it or double click, click, choose, and then open or double click. No problem, double click. Once you double click, the file name will be there already. See, this is from my folder, Ruby Web, and then the file name I have. This is from my desktop folder. Okay, don't forget to click this. Okay, okay. Plus, do not forget to click this. You may also put. Uh, Please mute. Okay, let's go back. Do not forget to click this. If you are not going to click this, allow an empty alternative text. You cannot have this. Okay. Again, look, if it's not checked, see? Okay will not be there, will never be there. Okay, so click this one. You can also put title, like let's say uh, P1. Let's have P1 for picture one, P1. So image one or picture one. Okay. Okay, so we have already P1 and then click this one because if this is not clicked, you can never have okay. Now after that, click okay. Again, what we, uh, what we did was we have chosen or selected the image. We have put the name of the or the title of this image, you can put P1 or picture one, and then you will have to click this one so that we can move 
on to click OK. Click OK now. All right, see, I have now my picture. My picture is very big. I'll just make it a bit smaller. You can make it smaller, huh? just drag and drop. Because I want it only in the heading. I want the picture to just be seen like this. Okay? Now, after that, keep it in center. Here, no? Align center. Okay, after you insert the photo, I want you to align center. See? So I have now my align center picture. Done? Okay, again, you have welcome to my website. And then you have here, you have here your picture inserted. Okay, after that, where is my cursor? Your cursor may be here or here. Just press enter key. So if you press enter key, you are on the center. You want to go to the left side, go to left justify. You want on the right side, go to right justify. You see my cursor? It's moving around. Or just keep it in the center. Okay? So again, what I did was I have inserted welcome to my website text and I have just formatted it in a way that I want it to look uh, very professional and nice. And then next step is I have inserted a photo or an image which will serve as a heading that will also make my website look impressive because with photos, uh, websites will look more impressive. So after I inserted the photo, please make it right uh, center. Align it in the center. Okay, after that. Okay, I want you to type down here on the photo. Just type created using blue griffon. Okay. I want you to type created using blue griffon. Or you can change the color also as you wish. But for this time, I want to change the text color only. I don't want to change anymore the background. I will keep it just with my text color. I will keep it with uh, this one, violet. Okay, there I have. Okay, I want to make it a bit bigger. Just click here if you want to see it a bit bigger here, here. Okay, percentage. Go to the percentage. Okay. Okay. Now, next step. This is very important. Are you with me? Okay, say you're ready, please. Are you ready? Class, are you ready for the next one? Yes, miss. Okay. Yes. I want you to choose blue griffon. Select blue griffon. Okay, again, I want you to, uh, okay, let's make it bold. Please make it bold. By the way, class, you can change the font style also. Okay, I did not tell that here. You can change this font style. Okay, let's just go back. If you want to make it uh, with different font, like this one, see? You can change the font, huh? the style. Book Antigua. This is Okay, let's say I want it Broadway, okay? You can Which change is? the font style, huh? Yes. I can't yes. write down down the picture. Enter, come here, enter, enter, enter. No, uh, maybe no. you are in Arabic. Can you try tab, tab? Maybe in Arabic. Can you try tab? I don't know how. Okay. Not the Change the English. English. <laughs> yeah, you should be in English. So that we have same, okay? Now I want you to change the font style also of this one. Just try any of the style which is available. Okay, like this one. Okay, I have blue gray font. I will change that so that it looks nice, okay? See, I have created using blue gray font. Does that look nicer? See, if you are going to format it nicely, your website will look nice also. See, I have put created using blue griffon. 
Okay, now next step. I want you to choose this one. Press again, again. Just type created by blue blue griffon. Okay, nothing again, again, huh? I will not again, again. <laughs> because we will not finish it every time again, again. Okay, I just follow according to the, to the design. Not quickly, not quickly. Not it quickly. I'm not anything quick. <laughs> This is, slowly, slowly. this is already slow. Okay, it's okay. I, uh, all right, let's move on. Let's continue, please. Okay, now after I have already changed the font style of this one, I want you to choose this. Everyone stop whatever you're doing right now. This is stop and do the same way as what I'm going to do. Okay, everybody stop. Select blue griffon. Okay, and then go to insert. Select blue griffon. This word. Choose blue griffon. But then insert. And then link. I want you to... Click on link. Okay. Now, you will have to change a bit. Select blue griffon. Right click. Not like right click. Select blue griffon. Insert. Link. Select blue griffon, insert link. Okay, done. Okay, now type the website. Now, how will you know the website? Go to Google. Okay, just keep it like that. I want you to. All right, it's not there. Hold on. Please go to Google. Open your Google. Okay, because we are going to take here blue griffon. Just type blue griffon. Okay, blue griffon dot org. Okay, just type this one blue griffon dot org. Okay, let me copy this in the meeting chat so that you can just copy and paste. Okay, I have kept it in the meeting chat. Okay, this is the website. Don't worry. I have kept it already here. Can you see in the meeting chat? Yeah? Okay, now let's go back. Again, let's do the same step. Choose blue griffon. But then insert. Link. See? Okay, you can copy and paste here. That link I have given in the meeting chat. Take this, copy, see, copy link, right click, copy link, and then put it here. So, what are what what link are we going to open? We are going to open http colon slash slash bluegriffon.org. Okay. Okay, you can also have here blue griffon. You can just type blue griffon for the title so that it will show a title that says blue griffon. So again, you have put the website and then you have the title, but then click this one. Step one, step two, step three. And then, new window. Please choose, open the link in new window. Okay, I'll click now, open the link in new window, and then I click on OK. All right, so I have now the link for my blue griffon. So again, how did teacher do that? Right click, uh, sorry. 
choose this. Okay. Insert link. And then you can have the link here. No, not that. Or you can copy the link here. See this? Right click, copy link. Come back to Blue Griffon, paste. Okay. After that, put here the title, put Blue Griffon, and then click open the link in new tab or open the link in and then choose new window. After that, click OK. Yes. Yes. In target, uh, right uh, the HTTP. Yes, in. yes. You can copy the link, the web link here. Right click, copy link. So how, that is. How to copy? Okay. Here. Right click, right click, right click, copy link here in the meeting chat. Go to meeting chat, copy link. Mafi Malum copy. Again. Miss, I, I work I, in a computer now. Sure, sure. Very good. Okay. Right click, Miss. copy. And then. I know, I know. Sit here. See, I can copy and paste. See, I will delete. Uh, I copied the link now. If I right click here and then paste, I will put back that. Uh, what's this? Website link. There you are. And then put blue grip on. Open the link in new window. And then afterwards, you click on OK. Teacher, how do I know that I have already the link? If you have this already underlined. If this is already underlined, Diani, you already have your link. Okay. So we have here our heading. After our heading, we had our picture. After our picture, we had our link. So we have inserted a picture. We have inserted a link. Now, what I will do is save the file. Please save the file. To save the file, go to file and then save us. Okay. Again, teacher, again, again. File save us, like Word. File save us. Go to file, button save us. Please save this as uh, welcome. This is our welcome page. Save this as welcome. Again, file save us. Type here, welcome. Then click on OK. And then save it again. Welcome. See this? Whatever you have written there, you will have that file name here. And your folder should be here on the same folder where your pictures are. Okay, after that, click on save. So there you have already your welcome page. See, where did I save it? I save it together with that picture. So again, what, what do you do? File, save us. But then type the word welcome. Welcome, and then it will come here as welcome. So this is now your HTML file. This is now your first web page. So this is now your first web page. Now, how, how are we going to see the output? Click this one. Everybody, please. Preview in browser. I'd like you to click this one to preview it in the browser. So if you are going to preview it in the browser, you can be able to see the output of your web page or how the web page will look like. Again, click this one. Preview in browser. Click this file. And then choose. Okay. Open link. Just open link. Click, uh, uh, keep the file and then open link. Again, click this one. This is preview in browser. Click this preview in browser and then open link. Okay. 
Okay, it's not coming. You, you just go to the folder. This is the folder where you save the file, right? So this is the folder where you save the file. Open this. So your file name is this one now. This is your website now. This welcome. This is the HTML file now which you have created. Okay, click open with. Okay, open with Google. So see, this is now your website. So this is now the website which we have created. Okay, again, simply right click, open with Google. Okay, if you open that with Google, this is now the website which we have created. Okay, finish. Teacher, again in save. File, save us. Go to file, save us. Okay, since I have already saved it with welcome, just type welcome, then okay, and then welcome, and then save. If it's first time for you. Okay. Uh, then uh, what we have to do? Yeah, now go to the folder. You have this already, no? That welcome. The HTML file. This is already your file. Right click. Open with Google. Or simply try to double click. If you will double click and you have it uh, uh, with Google before, you have assigned with Google before, okay? It will just simply show the web page which you have created see i will double click on huh? see this is now the web page which we have designed okay now see ya uh, i will show you something we have here the link correct if i'm going to click this if i'm going to click this i will go to the blue griffon see Okay, again, if I click this link, if I'm going to click this link, I will go to the blue griffon uh, because we have put here a link for the blue griffon. All right, so that's your welcome page. Now let's type another one. Okay, let's put more information. This put for more information. This is this link. University website. Okay. So just put here for more information. Okay. Information visit. You can put the website itself www.ict.edu.om. This is our college website, yeah? Okay, you can just change it with other color which you want. It's up to you, any color will do. All right, okay, there I have. Okay, I like to make it the same as that one. Okay, so there I have. Let me just have it the same color as this one. So that it's synchronized. All right. So I have already my second link. Now what I want to do is for you to link this. Can you try to link this one? Choose this www.ict.om. I want you to link this one. Okay, let's change the style of the text because it's not so readable. Okay. I want you to put a link for our www.ict.edu.om. So what you will do, choose this text. Choose www.ict.edu.om and then insert link. Okay, see what, what is given here is still blue griffon, okay? Now, what you can do is to change this with our college website. Our college website is www.ict.edu.om. 
do the same thing. Okay. So you can also have here. Okay. College website or UTA website, university. Okay. And then open link. In another window. Same thing as we did here in Blue Griffon. So just put the target, target site, that's www.ict.om, and then just put any title which you want. Okay, afterwards, click this, open it in a new window. Okay, after that, click on OK. So there you have, you have already two links. So you have the first link for your Blue Griffon and another link for your uh, college website. Okay, save that, Control S or File, Save. It's already saved or Control Teacher, S. Teacher, how, how oh. make it done for work? How to? What's yeah. that? How to? Uh, how to this, uh, design uh, for uh, Word? For Word? Yeah. Here, 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 here. You want, you want different text style, no? You want the style? Here. Choose the, the text, come here, up here. Uh, okay, okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, okay, got it? Oh, not good. <laughs> All right, I don't want that. Okay, see? That one. You want design for the text. Or you want to change the style of the font. So you can just select the text and then change it here. Okay, class. Now let's try save it. Just control S, control S to save that. Go to your folder again and then run it again. Open it again. See, I have now my two I now have my two, uh, what's this? Two links. So the one with Blue Griffon and the link with university website. Okay, let me just go and open my university website. Uh, it's not opening. Okay, hold on. Huh? How you can open this one to make it correct? Uh, just go to Ibra College. Okay, come here. Just copy this, copy. Okay, go back here. Insert link. Okay, let me just change that because it doesn't want. Okay, I think it needs HTTPS. Okay, take this one. I will copy and paste for you. You just copy and paste it here. Okay, very good Khalid. You can copy and paste the link here in the uh, meeting chat. I have kept the university university website in the meeting chat. Okay, let's change this. Okay, so we have already http www.ict.edu.om and then open link in the new window. Click on OK. Now let me save, save. Now let's go back here. Because a while ago it's not working. Refresh. You can have F5. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Okay, I'll click Blue Griffon. Blue Griffon, no problem. It's working. But in the college website, I hope this works now. No, it's not. College website is for you. Yeah. There are any uh, when I want uh, retreat, maybe do mistake steps. There are any, yeah. like what, where I find it in this show in this program. Where you find? Click That's for uh, for retreat. Retreat, oh. retreat. When I when I do mistake uh, steps, you know that. Mhm. Mm and uh, and I want to. Undo, undo, undo here. Control Z or undo. Huh? When are you want back, back, you know, back, miss, back to to the last uh, steps, you know that? Ah, uh, undo, that's undo. Undo? Yeah, control Z, back, back. This is back, back. 
Control Z. Uh, oh, and, yes. Yes, undo, undo, or control Z. Okay, college website is not working for me. Let me just close it again. Control S. Is it working for you? It no, no, we have the yes, same yes. problem. So? Yes, Mr. Yes, working. This, uh, it's coming. <laughs> See, it's now coming for me. Again. When I do. We, yeah, now it's coming. Now again, do on. All the same, but not come. For me, it's coming now. Okay, go back here. I want to open the university website. It's coming now for me. All right. Just change it with this website uh, here. This one. Copy this link. Can you see my screen? Copy link and then put this as the address. For the blue, blue Griffon, right click this. Copy link. Blue Griffon, right click, copy link. Ah, sorry, blue Griffon here, right click, copy link. Also here for the college website, copy link. Okay. Okay, I think Khalid have done it. Khalid, Khalid, were you able to uh, put also the college website? Khalid, I want you to try also with the college website. Okay? Yes. 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 Finish? Yes. All right. Very good. Very good. Finish, finish. Okay. No, so teacher. that's our first sample program. Okay. Please save it as welcome. So this is our welcome page. So we have already our welcome page. Save it as welcome. Now let's try another one in five minutes. Let's wait for the others to complete this. And then we will start another one in uh, two minutes only. Let me rest for a while and then we will have another example. <laughs> 